Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another fun edition of USCPI data release, which will be out in about 10 minutes sharp. And me and my colleague Michael, who will hopefully join us in about uh, very soon and turn off his camera, turn on, turn on his camera. Uh, we'll be covering it for you today. So as you can see at the current moment, the uh, US CPI month-on-month -month data for gas stands at minus 0.2% and the prior figure stands at minus 0.1% respectively. And, 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 and if we will continue uh, discussing uh, the um, the historical uh, developments will be a FOMC release the minutes from its crucial meeting in September where the members decided to hold off raising the Fed uh, fund rate. The policymaker and the knowledge that the labor market has improved over the year, uh, getting closer to their estimated of longer run normal rates. Uh, and, 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 um, yes. Uh, basically, Fed Chair Janet Yellen said it was decided to hold off the rate hike in September, but expects such a move later this year. Elsewhere, the rise of commodity prices certainly helped the commodity currency shine, with oil pushing the loony higher, copper helping the Aussie, and milk helping the Kiwi. The euro eventually joined the party and broke above uh, downtrend resistance. Uh, and let's move on. And uh, here you can see definitely the uh, experts' uh, view on the matter. Uh, according to their views, we have the Bloomberg survey summary where the median estimate stands at minus 0.2%. Uh, average estimate stands at minus 0.2%, respectively. High estimate stands at 0.2%, and low estimate stands at minus 0.4%. Where is the number? Uh, estimate this time has reached 79. Uh, and if we will continue discussing uh, the projections, so um, so uh, combine all the uh, luck last year inflation and uh, having Federal Reserve uh, having a tough time justifying tightening monetary policy this year with interest rates. Hike lately, the focus in the market have shifted to the drama happening in the high yield bond market, a leading indicator of uh, recession. Uh, so, 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 um, just a second. So, economists estimate that CPI fell 0.2% month over month or 0.1% year over year. Uh, the core one, excluding food and energy, is estimated to have climbed by 0.1% and 1.8%, respectively. Here's the UBS Sam Coffin saying that the acceleration to 2% uh, annual rate so far this year from 2014, 1.6% uh, year-on-year, reflects uh, both rent and non-shelter components. Apparel has been uh, a particular contributor despite dollars trend underlying the importance of domestic demand trends. Uh, used car prices have also contributed, swinging from falling to rising. Airfares give some downside risk to the forecast, depending on the pass-through from energy prices to ticket prices. And since I have only one minute left, I would like to show you guys the community member sentiment on the impact on the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen currency here, and according to their views, the uh, traders went with the bulls this time, 62.80, uh, oh sorry, 62% versus 38% uh, bearish votes, and we have a couple of comments by our community members, uh, such as uh, Ivan, who goes with the bulls, and he expects uh, maybe noted that for months the uh, CPI is back or zero or 0 0.0, 0.3, none of these uh, levels have changed. And Bartosz is being bearish. He says that uh, a lack of inflation acts as a deterrent to Fed raising U.S. interest rates by year end. Of course, CPI is expected to be unchanged. And yesterday's U.S. Uh, PPI number were in uh, red, showing deflation in the core PPI for September, uh, minus 0.3% month on month. 
Uh, that's pretty much it on the fundamentals. Thank you very much for uh, having me. And uh, once again, do not hesitate to type in your comments and questions in the chat section. We'll be more than happy to address them. Meanwhile, I would love to invite uh, Michael to the whiteboard. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. Hello, everybody. So, today we also have the Euro dollar currency pair, but this time the positive surprise trading strategy, because despite the rather harsh forecast, the data might still turn out to be better than anticipated. And the market sentiment for the given pair is quite bearish at 57.41%, uh, with the euro being sold in the majority of all cases, namely 56.61%. Uh, and the US dollar being bought also in the majority, uh, 50, almost 58%. Uh, concerning the penny orders, in the, both in the 50 and the 100 deep range, they are to sell the euro. Uh, in the 50 deep range, it's 53.65%, and in the 100 deep range, it's 51.42%. Other market participants are also bearish on the euro dollar pair. With the Lander having 63.81% uh, short positions, uh, Saxo Group has even more, 67.64% of short positions, and 52% uh, of data fixed traders are also short the euro. So, however, on the market reaction table, we can see that uh, mostly the CPI turned out to be uh, either uh, as the forecast predicted or slightly worse. Uh, so that is a factor that could change the data. Uh, with the highest reaction being uh, 56 pips in May and uh, the lowest one on the 14 pips uh, two months later. So the approximate average reaction we could expect today is um, approximately 33 pips. And uh, based on this reaction, we set the take profit and stop loss levels accordingly. With the stop loss level currently located at 1.1464, quite close to the 200 period simple moving average, so bolstering that uh, resistance level. While the stop loss level, uh, oh sorry, the take profit level is located uh, at uh, 1.1398, quite close to the uh, 1.14 major level, so that is also a quite strong support. And uh, also, another sign of uh, weakness, of possible weakness today, was that the uh, shorter period moving averages across the longer period ones to the downside, so giving us signals to sell the euro. And also, what we have is the technical indicators, which are giving us uh, bearish signals in the 10 minute, 30 minute, and the hourly time frames, shifting to bullish only the 4 hour one and the weekly one. Uh, while giving us mixed signals in the daily one, and of course, distinctly bullish, uh, sorry, bearish in the monthly one. But as usual, the most important one is the 30 minute time frame indicator, since it was updated approximately 30 minutes uh, specifically for the given day release, and it's giving us actually bearish signals, suggesting that the pair will go down. and possibly reach the take profit level. Also, uh, according to the Bloomberg survey, other markets, uh, other banks and companies expect uh, the CPI to be to fall in line with expectations like the HSBS markets and TD securities, uh, while the CIBC world markets and the Credit Agricole, which are also the main, uh, the top forecasters of the CPI expect a fall, a harsher fall, minus 0.2%. So in that case, we could see the euro actually go up. Uh, but uh, the Empire State Manufacturing Index is expected to be better than anticipated. So that could be a game changing factor today. Although the main focus is on the CPI. And we should have the data mm -hmm. any second now. And we already see the reaction to the downside. So I'm guessing the data is better than anticipated. And yeah, the CPI actually remains flat, so that is a better reading compared to the forecast. Uh, 
while the core CPI is slightly better than anticipated by 0.1 percentage point, and but the manufacturing uh, state manufacturing mix is actually worse than anticipated, but nonetheless it is not the main driver today. The main driver remains the inflation data, and the jobless claims also were better than anticipated, and plus people applied for the uh, non-employment benefits. And the reaction we have is around 29 pips, 28 pips actually. So we failed to reach the uh, take profit level as the pair stopped in front of the 4 hour S1. Uh, but nonetheless, at least it went down as we expected instead of going to the upside. So that would be all from my side. And uh, that's you, Pauline. We're everything up. Thank you, Michael. And uh, yeah, once again, the US CPI uh, turned out to be, um, the year on year turned out to be at zero. And yeah, you can still see the reaction on uh, Michael's screen. Thank you very much for participating. Hope it was useful for some of you out there. And uh, don't forget that uh, right about now, we will have a webinar by community member Doc Dow on. Elmo Wars, uh, enjoy and stay with Lucas Copy. Have a nice day. Crazy. Always. That's what we do. We talk about the markets and the world economy and trading and technical tools and the news and it's always crazy. But